a counselor. Psychological counselor. A psychological counselor. Yes. Or so counselor. tell me the, th the three main benefits of us having psychological counseling in our city. Only three? Give me as much as possible. <laughs> there are so many. There are so many. Um, let's see. First of all, in, you mean in the city? In Just, the yeah, and how would our society benefit if we okay. had um, psychological counseling like okay. from people like you? Okay, so first of all, uh, let's see. When you do have, let's say, a problem in life, okay? And when you keep that problem seated, you keep it bottled up, you know, this just leads to bigger problems. Why? Because you're not reaching out. You're not trying to make anything better. You're just, you know, keeping it inside, bottling up all this negative emotion. And one negative emotion comes two, becomes three, becomes four. And eventually, you know, it just, it just gets hard. You end up with bigger problems than you first started with. Uh, so that's for one, definitely, uh, to let out things. Two, it's always better to have, let's say, a secondary opinion on things. We all need that in life, you know, no matter the age, no matter the s s stage, no matter what you're going through. It's so refreshing to have someone to see a different point of view to your story. You might, s let's say, overlook something, you might underlook something, you might see something a whole, let's say, completely different than what it really is. So it's very refreshing to get someone, you know, to s help you see the positive side of things. And let's say, what, what can help you? What are your, let's say, negative traits? How can you become a better person? What can help you? What can you can do to help yourself? So that would be two. And the third one, <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, you know, when it comes to a whole, um, I have a problem and I refuse to talk about it. And, uh, you know, uh, why? Because I feel like people are going to, let's say, talk about me in a certain way, people are going to think about me in a certain way. Well, if you think about it, there can never be another you. There's just one, only one you, you know. Some people, are, like, believe that, you know, we're here for no reason at all and we're leaving for no reason. I personally believe different. I believe we're all chosen to be here. I believe that, you know, um, uh, as we're chosen, like, even the whole birth process, if you think about it, scientifically speaking, when you're birth, you're in competition with 200 million, if I'm not mistaken, other people to be born, right? <laughs> Honestly. So we're all born as winners. So why not, you know, value that? Why not believe that, you know, you can do things to help yourself? You can reach out to people to help yourself. You are worthy, you know. Everything's capable of changing. You don't necessarily have to be in a bad, dark place for the rest of your life, and you can actually make changes. So for me, that's the core value of when it comes to counseling.